What is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite chocolate chip cookie and today I'm answering y'all's questions. We're getting a lot of new subscribers and a lot of you guys are joining the family so why not answer your guys' questions about me? So I asked you guys on a YouTube post because I feel like a lot of people on Instagram know me a little bit better and people on Twitch know me so I want to see what the YouTube audience thinks of me and what they want to know about me. So let's get into question numero uno. What's your favorite part about being a streamer? So if you guys don't know I stream almost every single day on Twitch. Twitch.com slash Devante. I'm probably live right now as you guys are watching this video. I'm currently doing a 40 hour subathon, so come join. My favorite part about being a streamer, being able to create a community, actually getting to know people who support you, and just, uh, just being in real time, you know what I'm saying? I feel like on YouTube, you guys see like a lot of content and like a lot of funny clips or whatever, but Twitch, is like there's like a lot of downtime where people actually get to know me personally and actually what I stand for and like who I am, you know? Come through, don't be shy, and say what's up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, come through, don't be shy. Question number two. What's your biggest achievement? Dude, okay. I will say my biggest achievement was in May 2021 when I moved out to LA. Damn. I still kind of like, you know, it resonates with me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, that's actually one of my biggest accomplishments because ever since I was little, I was so obsessed with the LA lifestyle and it was always my dream to move out to LA and be a creator, um, hang out with my group of friends and create content. Um, I kind of manifested this low key. So like my wallpaper for the past like year since I was in like middle school, high school has been a wallpaper of LA. And I've just been looking at it every single day, looking at it every single day for the past few years. Being thankful for the Cam Boys, I was able to achieve me moving out to LA. So that's probably one of my biggest achievements of all time. If you could give your younger self advice and a pep talk, what would you say? If I were to give myself a younger self advice, I would definitely tell them to just never give up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people give up when they're so close achieving their dreams. And I feel like just, dude, keep on bleeding yourself. Keep on being yourself. Do not let anyone else install their fears into you and keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people like to say, dude, college is the only way. College is this, blah, blah, blah. Do you, do what makes you happy and don't let other people install their fears into you. So keep on believing. I say that all the time. Shout out to Cookie Gang, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, when you work hard when you're younger, life gets a little bit easier when you're older. Do you plan on living in Los Angeles forever? No. Recently, I've been having this dream, or like not a dream, but this vision of me living in New York City in a high rise apartment. I see myself living in New York City, vlogging in New York City, or doing some type of content in New York City in a high rise apartment in the middle of Manhattan or wherever, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I don't see myself raising my family here. I wanna move to New York or like have a vision of me in New York somehow, somewhere, somehow, in some time. But who knows, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, there's no plan for it as of now, but it's just a little vision, you know? That's a little, that's a Raven moment, you know? What do you think is a misconception people have about you? I feel like Devonte is this weird dude because they see a 30 second clip of tick on TikTok of me saying some random stuff but at the end of the day I was probably clip farming and I just love the reaction of people in chat saying dev da 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 if you actually come to get to know me I really care about people and I want to motivate people as best as I can to achieve their goals and dreams and being the best version of themselves. I feel like uh, that's like one of the biggest misconceptions that people have of me that I'm annoying and stuff like that. But dude, you're on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? You wanna, you wanna make people laugh and stuff like that. So you kinda just say the most outlandish stuff ever. Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself in five years in mm, a relationship, you know? Probably living in a, a house or in New York City, more stable. Why am I smiling, bruh? <laughs> Why am I smiling? But yeah, I see myself, that's how I see myself in five years, you know? Um, so creating content, being happy, and stuff like that, yeah. What's your type in women or men? We don't judge. <laughs> My type is bad. Just kidding. Um, I don't have a type. Personality is what makes me. <laughs> nah, I feel like I'm streaming right now, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't have a type. I'm a little mysterious, you feel me? Goals for 2024. I want to grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers. I want my this channel, my vlog channel, whatever you guys want to call it, to be something successful and a project that I've built to be massive. This is why I'm uploading twice a week in December. I want to test myself. That's one of my biggest goals right now. And you know, be a little bit more happier. Do you have any siblings? Dude, holy fuck, yes. Um, I do have a lot of siblings. I have a little sister, named Messiah. Um, I have a little brother, his name is Justin. I have another little brother, his name is Javon. I have an older brother, his name is Kenny. 
why do I feel like I'm missing someone? And I have a stepbrother, and his name is Jonathan. Dude, how am I? Dude, what if I'm actually missing someone? I'd be terrible. But I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I am. I'm actually solid. Let's go. Yeah, five siblings. If you were to go back in time, where would you want to go? I would go back to 2015, 2016, or no, 2016, 2017, um, when I first started YouTube, and I wouldn't have stopped. I would have kept on going, and I wouldn't have give up. I'll go back and do it over again. That's the one big thing I regret is quitting YouTube in 2016, for sure, because I feel like if I would have continued and kept on learning, kept on growing, and not caring about numbers and stuff like that, I would be in a better place than I am now, I would say, for sure. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, maybe I would have been the Camboys, you know, so um, I don't take it back, but if I could go back in time, I'd probably do that, for sure. Who inspired you to become a content creator? Okay, dude, I want to say, dude, Dev Glazing. No glaze, honestly, full glaze. Um, I was a big fan of KJ, obviously KJC in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2023. Yeah, uh, I would say those were my biggest inspirations back in the day to be a content creator. Um, I had a channel back in the day called DNK Productions with my best friend Kevin. We would film YouTube videos every single Friday and post and pretty much still every KJ idea there is. <laughs> Those are people who inspired me to become a content creator for sure. What is one of my favorite memories? One of my favorite memories is Coachella two years ago when Harry Styles was headlining. We were just vibing, dude. I think it was the funnest moment of us, like, you know, away from LA, just creating so many memories. I have so many videos of Savage freaking. <laughs> In his ski mask, us in the pool, us sneaking into Coachella. Dude, probably one of my favorite moments in LA of all time of living in California. Definitely one of my favorite memories. If you guys don't know, me and Savage posted a video of us sneaking into Coachella and it was probably one of the funnest times ever. What was the very first modeling job you've ever done? Okay, I have a story, a little story time, okay? So I used to work as a UPS package handler at 3 a.m., right? So your boy was tired one day, so I was driving to work. Doo -doo -doo you know taking my ass to work you know what i'm saying and i got into a little fender bender allegedly you know what i'm saying there's no damages right so i'm like thank god i'm blessed from above and i left and i quit right i quit my job and literally two days later i booked my first job for hypebeast x converse and ever since then my life has changed for when i was modeling i booked a lot of jobs after that and yeah so that was my first rodeo and my dip that was my dip in the sand or dip in the water in modeling what was the weirdest thing you have done to tell a girl you are crushing on her? Spam a whole bank counter? <laughs> How far away is your family? Is it hard or easier to be away from them? So, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from New York. Um, I was born in New York. I have family in Jersey also. I believe in sacrifices to achieve your dreams. So one of my biggest sacrifices was moving away from my family and moving to LA. Everyone's getting older, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of living life without them. And I um, miss them a lot. And um, yeah, it's, it gets hard, but it gets kind of easier as time goes on. I FaceTime them a lot. I call them a lot. I call my sister a lot. And yeah, so it is hard, but you'll get used to it eventually. Don't ever be afraid to move out your house and you know live life because I feel like the best way to grow is to move out your parents' house and live on your own. And because in life, you grow through experiences and sometimes you lack experience by just staying at home all the time, you know, so. My biggest fear is open waters on God. I think of the Titanic and if dude, if, if you're on a cruise ship and it freaking crashes, you're done for, what are you gonna do? Oh my God, have you ever been a cruise ship in the dark? It's literally like an open sea monster. It's freaking scary. Um, but yeah, open waters is my biggest fear of all time. Dead ass. I wanna deeper dive into your origin. What, who gave you the spark to enjoy content in general? I think I enjoy creating content is because I love to make people laugh and I want to have a place where people can kind of escape from, you know, and have like, you know, away from it reality. The reason why I'm motivated to like, you know, create content is because dude, some people just need a laugh in life and dude, a laugh can change someone's whole perspective on anything, you know? Um, so I always wanted to create a space where people can get away from reality because reality can be harsh, you know? And um, yeah, that's why I started Twitch, you know? People created new friends, be themselves, and I wanted to reconcile because I love making people laugh and I think, dude, everyone needs to laugh once in a while, you know? When you look back at where you started and where you are now, what do you think is the most important thing you've learned? I've learned to never, ever give up and always believe in yourself. No, deadass. You can be at the lowest point in your life 
And you should always believe in yourself, no matter what. Because you believing yourself will give you the capability to get out of that sunken ship, you know? The thing that I always say all the time is keep believing, stay smiling, and the days will get better. Because if you're not believing yourself, then what's next? You always gotta believe in yourself. No matter how hard it gets. Literally, I've been in this bed with $0 in my bank account in LA. Thinking of the worst things and the worst scenarios of all time. But, I believed in myself to get to a point where I am can get out of that situation and weigh how I can become better. So, I would always say, no matter how hard it gets, always believe in yourself. And that concludes my first Q&A on this channel. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And when you guys are watching this video, I'm probably live doing a subathon. So come through and say what's up. Um, shout out to y'all. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm posting twice a week. So, see you guys Monday.